Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Trains Automation Destination. So in this series, we are going to learn about BDD, what is BDD and what is the need of BDD. So in order to deep dive into it or in order to learn BDD, first we need to understand what are the prerequisites to learn BDD. So first and foremost requirement to learn BDD is we should have some programming knowledge. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use Java. So the course would be in Java. So you can have uh, knowledge in any any of the language which Selenium supports, such as C Sharp, Python. Okay, and uh, then we should you should have some knowledge on the automation, especially Selenium. Okay, so uh, now what we are going to discuss uh, during this uh, course. So this is what is in the course at high level. We are going to discuss about what is BDD, what are the different layers of BDD, keywords in BDD and what is the role of runner in BDD, how it is relatable with test engine, how to integrate BDD step by step in your framework and then we will be discussing out, discussing about BDD with JUnit. Later on we will be discussing on the challenges that we had in JUnit with BDD and then the reason of switching to BDD with test engine and we will be discussing on BDD with test engine integration. And uh, at last, we are going to discuss about sequential and parallel execution as per this list. Okay. But yeah, there would be uh, some more topics which I would be covering as part of this series. So yeah, to start with or to begin with, we are going to start the introduction of BDD in this particular lecture. So what, it be, what is BDD and what is the need of BDD? BDD stands for Behavioral Driven Development. And it is in contrast with test driven development, wherein we write the test cases and uh, then we do the development. In BDD, we automate the behavior. Okay, based on the behavior, we do the development. So let me uh, jump to the official document of BDD. What is BDD? So this is the official document of BDD. I'll be sharing this particular link uh, in the description. So if you look at uh, what is BDD, this is behavioral driven development. And it is a development process which Cucumber came up with. Okay, so what is it and how it is different with normal or the previous traditional test engine, right? So uh, it is in line with BDD, right? So let me take an example of waterfall model. From there, I'll be I would be able to relate it. So in waterfall model, what used to happen? We used to develop the software at once, right? And then after uh, on the last stage, we used to get the get it for testing. And when we when we deliver it for uh, to the client, right? So they got surprise. They used to get surprise. I mean, uh, meaning uh, like whatever they were expecting, it is not up to the mark, right? And whatever they were looking for something else, they were for example looking for A product, but it is something B product. So this is where it was the gap, and Agile came into the picture with the iterative approach. Similarly, in BDD, what or like prior to BDD, what used to happen? We used to like teams used to write the test cases in test engine, right? Which is at the rate test annotation, right? So that that is written in the form of raw code, right? Which is very difficult to understand by the various stakeholders. What I mean by stakeholders here? So stakeholder means the client. For example, our client is layman. He doesn't have any technical background. Then BAs, they too don't have much understanding on the background. Right, so they they are not comfortable understanding what is written in the code, meaning they won't be able to understand whether we are following the right steps to automate or to to test a particular functionality, right? So to bridge up that gap or to make it more clear, so that even the BAs or any stakeholder with the less programming knowledge or no programming knowledge should be able to understand the test cases written, right? This is where Cucumber felt the need of introducing BDD, right? Behavioral driven development. So let me give you an example. So BDD is nothing but like what it come come up with. It come up with one extra layer. So if uh, you uh, if if you can recall, if uh, we take an example of test engine. So how we used to write the test cases? We used to write the whole four steps within one at the rate test annotation, wherein we launch the URL, right? And then we enter the credentials later on we click on login button and then we land on the dashboard so this is uh, being covered within one at the rate test annotation and everything was written in the form of code which is very difficult to understand but in bdd what they have done they have introduced uh, two extra layer one is this feature file 
the they are writing the test cases now in the plain english okay if you look at it given user has launched the url and user has entered valid credentials on the login page when user click on the login button then user should be able to uh, user should be landed on the dashboard page so anyone with understanding on english should be able to understand that this is these are some steps which is getting followed to test a particular functionality and it is very understandable right so anyone with the uh, no knowledge on uh, like no knowledge on uh, i mean coding even they can understand the test cases and this is how it bridge up the gap between various stakeholders and this is how it is relatable with waterfall model right so for example we when we used to test in test ng right uh, the various stakeholders are not aware like what we are testing but after looking at this set of uh, test steps they can understand it so after writing these feature files or these steps would be used to get it verified from the uh, various stakeholders for example from product owner right those who are aware of what is the functionality right from business analyst so that we are all on the same page that this is what is expected out of this functionality so by going this going through these steps they can suggest us some changes that this is not what they are looking for or this is up to the mark so this is how it bridges up the gap between various stakeholders and we are able to write the right set of test cases okay so in the next uh, lecture we are going to discuss about what are the different keywords scenarios and like a lot more things we are going to discuss in the upcoming series so for now thank you please uh, do like share and subscribe if you really find it useful thank you